Okay, no? So, welcome back guys sa ating uh, signal spectra and signal processing MAC test. So, we are now on the next problem guys. So, this time the topic is continuous time for Fourier series. Okay, no? So, let me read the question guys. Consider two signals, x of t equals 5 plus 2 sine of 4 pi t and y of t equals 6 sine of 6 pi t plus 4 sine of 4 pi t. Oh, I think there's a mistake in this question. No, it's supposed to be 2 pi. Okay, so let me change this. No, real quick. Supposed to be 2 pi. Okay, so this is 2 pi, guys. Huh? Okay, anyway. So let z of t equals uh, x of t times y of t. And if c of n represents the exponential Fourier series coefficients of z of t, okay, evaluate. Okay, the summation of uh, Cn plus 2 from minus 5 to positive 5. All right. All right, no? so we're going to solve this question. All right. Okay, so I think, no, uh, during the discussion uh, in our lecture classes, no, uh, when it comes to the uh, continuous time for a series, no, so uh, I think I haven't uh, discuss one of its properties with regards uh, multiplication, no? Okay. So, let's say, guys, no? So, this is the solution to this question. No? So, I'm introducing actually a new property for us, no? In this set, in this video, guys. So, what will be the solution to this question? All right. So, let's say, guys, no? That uh, our signal, we have x of t. Okay. Our signal is x of t, guys. Okay. First signal, guys, x of t. Okay. So, what will be its uh, exponential Fourier series coefficient? So, its exponential Fourier series coefficient, guys, so we'll be using another letter kasi usually, di ba, we use uh, C sub K. Kaya lang in this particular problem, C sub N is for the Z of T. So, for this purpose only, guys, ha, okay, uh, this is exponential. Although we use A and B for trigonometric, for this time, X of T, let's call this as A sub N. Okay, yan yung Fourier series coefficient niya. Okay? So, this uh, operation is the CTFS. Continuous time Fourier series exponential. Okay? And then, oh, uh, we have uh, Y of T. Okay, let's say Y of T. So, let's say, guys, that it's uh, CTFS. Okay? Yan, it will be discrete, right? This magiging discrete times, uh, discrete frequency signal siya. Okay, let's say, guys, na for this purpose, we call this as B sub N. Okay, B sub N, guys. Again, ha, uh, don't be confused. No, So, for this problem only, we'll be using A and B, okay, uh, to represent no, the Fourier series exponential, Fourier series coefficients of the signals. Kasi dalawa yung signal natin. And the third one, doon naka-reserve yung C of N as mentioned in the problem. Alright, guys. So, let's say this is their Fourier series uh, coefficients. So, one property, guys, no? And one property uh, that I didn't uh, or I haven't now mentioned in our uh, live classes is that the if you multiply, okay, if you multiply x of t, okay, by y of t, yan, we multiply natin siya, guys, okay, yung resulting Fourier, kapag in natin siya ng continuous time Fourier series, the resulting, okay, the resulting uh, Fourier series coefficients niya is actually the convolution. Okay, convolution guys, no? Nung individual Fourier series coefficients nila. Okay? Nagets guys? So, if the Fourier series coefficient of x of t, exponential Fourier series coefficient is a sub n, and the exponential Fourier series coefficients of y of t is p sub n, now, if you multiply x of t and y of t, the result would be actually the convolution, okay, of a sub n and b sub n. Now, according sa problem guys, that this one, Okay, yung x of t, tsaka yung y of t natin, this is z sub t. Okay? So, it turns out that the Fourier series, no, uh, coefficient, no, ng z sub t, z sub t, sabi sa problem ay c sub n. So, this is c sub n. So, hence, okay, by one-to-one uh, -one correspondence, guys, it's easy to see that yung c sub n natin, okay, the c sub n is equal sa convolution, no, nung... Uh, a sub n and b sub n. Okay. So, we just need to get the, ano no, Fourier series coefficients of a sub n and b sub n. Okay? Alright. Now, since uh, we were going to get the convolution of the coefficients, so they should be periodic. 
Okay? Of course, no? They should be periodic with each other. So, meaning to say, guys, no? That uh, these two, okay? The Fourier series coefficient of this one should be uh, related or we will consider them together. Okay? Kasi nga, uh, we're going to perform multiplication process. So, dapat yung coefficients ng A sub N, uh, I mean, the Fourier series coefficients of A sub N and B sub N, they should be periodic or related with each other. Okay, kumbaga yung x of t and y of t should be periodic when combined together. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin nun, guys. Kasi we will be multiplying them, eh. Alright? So, first is, uh, let's get the, ano, no? Kasi, uh, let me rewrite the x of t. So, yung x of t natin, okay? So, x of t is given as, yan, x of t is given as, we have 5, okay, plus, okay, 2 sine of 40. We have 2 sine of 40. 2 sine of 40. Okay? And the y of t, okay, so this is equal sa 6, okay, sine of, okay, 6 sine of 6 pi t. Okay, 6 pi t. Okay, plus 4 sine ng 2t. So, yan. So, there is uh, some changes in the given. Supposed to be sine ng 2 pi t, not 4 pi t. And this is 4 pi t, no? This is 4 pi t. Okay, so from here, we can easily get uh, the omega values. So let's say, guys, no, ano yung omega natin dito? So the omega here, let's say omega, uh, well, not, uh, yeah, omega 1 probably. So omega 1, what's that? So this is 4 pi. Okay. Uh, omega 2. So omega 2 is uh, 6 pi. And then this is omega 3. So omega 3 is, okay, 2 pi. All right. So what will be the... Uh, the fundamental uh, angular frequency or fundamental omega with respect to the tree. So, paano natin ginagawa yun? What is omega O? So, usually, di ba, ang ginagawa natin omega is we get the greatest common factor nung tatlo. Okay? Nung omega 1, omega 2, and omega 3. So, we have 4 pi. Okay, we have 6 pi. And then, we have 2 pi. So, para saan to? Para malaman natin kung pang ilang harmonics, no? Yung uh, 4 pi t, 6 pi t, tsaka 2 pi t. Okay, so the greatest common factor of this is what? Omega O, therefore, is 2 pi. Okay? Yan, omega O is 2 pi. So, it follows that, okay, it follows that this one, okay, itong 4 pi t, okay, this 4 pi t here, okay, this is the second harmonic. Okay, so itong 6 pi t na to. So this is the third harmonic. Kasi 2 pi eh, di ba? And this 2 pi here, this is the first harmonic. Or the fundamental, uh, I mean the first fundamental frequency. I mean the first harmonic, <laughs> basically. Alright, so anyway. Uh, so with that, na alam na natin, no? And we can now uh, get now the Fourier series coefficients. So let's solve for a sub n first. For a sub n. So pa natin makukuha yung a sub n, guys. Okay? So remember that the uh, expression no, uh, for the uh, x of t, okay, in terms ng Fourier series coefficients is simply equal sa summation. Okay? Summation ng ano, sir? summation ng uh, kasi a no kaya a sub n okay from n equals negative infinity to positive infinity ng e raised to j j n omega o t okay so that is the general expression right of the uh, exponential Fourier series coefficient okay so in other words guys no we just need to actually express it in this format and then we'll be able to figure out ano yung a sub n natin. Okay? So, kung ang given sa atin, guys, no? Okay? So, I'll be erasing this, ha? I'll be erasing this kasi pinaalala ko lang naman yung format. So, hindi, hindi, hindi kasi yun yung gagawin, basically. So, yung x of x sub t, okay? We can actually write this as sum of complex exponentials, right? So, we have 5. Okay? 5 is 5 pa din. We have plus 2. Okay? Di ba, yung sign ng 4 pi t natin can be written as no complex exponentials, right? That is e raised to j 4 pi. Okay, 4 pi t. Okay, uh, minus e raised to negative j. Okay, 4 pi t. And all over, all over, what? All over j2. All over j2. Okay? So, we're going to expand. So, what do we get, guys? We have 5. 
Okay, no? So, 2 over 2, 2 over J2, 2 over J2, that is, uh, 2 over J2, it's, that is uh, minus J, right? So, we have minus J, okay, E raised to, okay, J or pi T, okay? And then, we have uh, 2 over negative J2 because take note that this is negative, okay? So, anong makukuha natin, guys? So, we have positive, positive J, okay, E raised to, or pi T. Okay, no? So, that is the purpose, no? Kaya natin inalam ano ba yung 4 pi. 4 pi is second harmonic, right? So, since 4 pi is second harmonic, okay, we can easily see that we already have our Fourier series coefficients, no? Na A sub n. Because we already express them, okay, in terms ng uh, sum ng complex exponentials, right? So, first is, ano yung makukuha natin? So, hence, we can now easily say that what? Yung a sub, okay, kasi diba, we have, uh, oh, sorry, supposed to be a uh, negative j. Ayan. Negative j. Sorry. So, we have, diba kasi ang 4 pi is second harmonic, so we have a sub negative 2, right? a sub negative 2 is simply equal sa positive j. So, j1. Okay, so, uh, a2. Okay, a2. And kasi yung positive positive, right? So, that is negative j. And a0, siyempre the DC value, DC component, that is 5. Alright? So, ito yung mga Fourier series coefficients natin. Okay, 4. Okay. Fourier series coefficients natin for a sub n. Now, so, if you want to write this, no? a sub n. Yeah, no? So, take note, guys, that, ano, no? This is finite length. Because ah, uh, yun lang yung meron. All everything else is zero. Even if the Fourier series ah uh, coefficients is ah uh, is obtain or is calculated from minus infinity to positive infinity, everything else is zero except these three. Okay, so we can actually write it as ano po j one, j one, and then zero, and then five, and then zero again, and then we have negative j one. So this is our uh, okay. Uh, uh, Fourier series coefficient A sub n. Okay. So, nakawa? Alright. So, we do the same, no? For the uh, y of t. Okay, no? So, for uh, B sub n naman tayo. Again, uh, don't be confused with our, our earlier lessons. Uh, we just use A and B here, but they both represent the uh, exponential Fourier series coefficients. So, hindi siya yung A sub n for the uh, a sub n for the trigonometric phase series coefficient, B sub n for the trigonometric series coefficient, hindi po siya yun. Okay? So, Sam might be asking, sir, bakit po naging negative 2 po ito? Okay, no? So, and bakit po naging A sub 2 yun and A sub negative 2 yun? Okay. So, let me, uh, you know, let me rewrite this one. Okay? And so that uh, you can uh, understand ano yung nangyari. So, let me just resize, resize this for a bit. Okay. Alright. Oops, sorry. Alright. Okay. So, let me ano, no? uh, show it to you guys. So, this is equal to 5 minus J. Okay. Remember, guys, no, that the fundamental, I mean, the omega O is 2 pi. So, it's easy to see that yung 4 pi is simply J. Okay, 2 omega O T. Okay, yung 4 pi is 2 pi, right? I mean, 2 times 2 pi. Okay, and then we have plus J. Okay, E raised to. Yung J, lalagay ko lang dito. And this would be negative 2 omega O T. Okay, because negative 4 pi siya. So, J pa din positive. So, nagets na guys. So, ito yung bali naging coefficients natin yung negative 2 tsaka yung positive 2. Okay, kaya po siya naging ganun. So, I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear, guys. Alright, for B sub N, we will do the same. Okay, we will do the same, guys. Okay, so what will be our Y of T? Okay, what will be our Y of T? So, yung Y of T, okay. So, sabi rito, guys, we have uh, 6 sine of 6 pi T. So, we have 6 times the quantity. So, same pa din. So, how do we write sine, guys? So, how do we write sine? We can write sine as E raised to what? E raised to J 
Okay, no? So, yung 6 pi, okay, let me write it as 3. Okay, 3 omega OT. Okay, because omega O is 2 pi, so 6 pi is 3 omega OT. Okay, minus E raised to J. Okay, negative 3 omega OT. Okay, all over. All over. Uh, J2. Okay, so this is this is for the sixth part. Plus, yan kasi kaduktong niya, yung next one. So we have 4 naman. Okay, same goes with this, guys. No, So we have E raised to. Okay, so 2 pi siya. So omega O lang. No? So J omega O. Okay, T. Minus E raised to J negative 1 omega O T all over J2 all over J2 okay is that clear guys all right so let me just uh, fix the writing po ano isin lang natin so this is omega sub O yeah this is omega sub O okay Ayan po. So that is for the uh, B sub N. Okay. So let me continue here. So what will be our uh, what will be our Y of T? So yung Y of T natin, ito po ay equal sa, okay? Ayan no? So uh, bali 6 over J2. So that's minus 3. Right? So we have uh, minus 3 E raised to J. Okay. 3 Omega O T positive uh may J siya, no? Yan. Minus. Kaso maging plus, no? So plus J3. Okay. E raised to positive J. Negative 3. Omega O T. Okay. So minus. Yan, no? So we have 4 over J2. So that's negative 2J. Or negative J2. So, negative J2, E raised to uh, J, and omega OT. Ayan, uh, plus na, no? Plus J2. Okay, E raised to J, negative 1, omega OT. Okay. So, yan yung Y of T natin. So, from here, okay, so we can write B sub N na. Okay, we can write B sub N na. Okay, no? so B sub N natin, or isa-isa natin guys. No? So we have B of uh, negative 3, so that's J3. So B of uh, positive 3, that is negative J3. Yeah, no? So we have uh, B of 2, so that's negative J2. And then we have, uh, hindi, hindi siya 2, no? so 1 siya, sorry. So 1. And then we have uh, B of negative 1, that is positive J2. That is positive J2. Okay? Ayan, no? Alright. So, from there, okay, no? So, hence, okay, what will be our B sub N? So, yung B sub N natin, again, this is a finite uh, sequence. Okay? Uh, pero in terms ng uh, coefficients or frequency, discrete frequencies. So, we start with uh, J3. So, wala kang J2. So, that is 0. Meron kang J1. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I mean what, what I'm saying is uh, this is uh, index negative 3. So, we have B of negative 2. B of negative 1 is J2. Then, we have 0. 0 siya. Then, negative J2. And then, 0. And then, negative J3. Negative J3. So, cool, guys? Alright. And then, this is the 0, 1. Okay. So, now, guys. Okay, no? So, we are asked to solve for the uh, C sub N. Okay, C sub N, guys, is actually simply the convolution of A sub N and B sub N. So, you can do this one if you want. Kaya lang the problem, may property uli tayong gagamitin sa kanya. Okay? Meron uli tayong property na gagamitin. But, you will be uh, obtaining the same results if you will perform the convolution, right? Because you have your A sub N and you have your B sub N. So, we can perform the convolution, right? But instead, no? Kasi, uh, ang pinapahanap sa atin actually is the summation, okay, of C sub N plus 2. Ayan. From N is equal sa negative 5 
to positive 5. So it means this is also equal to summation of C sub n from n equals negative 5 to positive 5 plus, okay, summation ng 2 from n equals negative 5 up to positive 5. So this one, okay, this one can be evaluated readily. Okay, kasi constant siya. Summation ng constant lang, you know. So this can be evaluated readily. Okay, madali lang yan, no? So how about this one? Paano po ito? Okay, what is this result? Paano kaya kukunin yan? Alright. So without performing the convolution, okay, so meron kasi tayong property, no? Uh, pagdating sa convolution. Okay, given that, ano, no? Uh, the, uh, the result is actually convolution ng two uh, signals. So let's say, guys, that uh, if, okay, so we covered this no on our session. So if C sub n is equal sa convolution ng A sub n and B sub n, so yung summation, guys, no, nung C sub n from n equals negative infinity to positive infinity is equal sa summation, guys, no, nung ano po, A sub n from n equals negative infinity to positive infinity, okay, multiplied by, okay, summation, ng B sub n from n equals negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? So basically, you just add everything na nasa A sub n and you just add everything na nasa B sub n. Ayan yung, ano, ayan yung magiging result sa C sub n. Eh sir, negative infinity to positive infinity yun. Uh, actually, okay, uh, ang kailangan mo ay negative 5 to 5 lang, but uh, uh, since ang Diba? Since, as you can see here, no, yung B sub n natin is from index negative 3 up to index uh, positive 3 lang. And kanina, ganun din, diba? Yung A sub n natin is index negative 1 up to positive 1. So meaning to say that the range ng C sub n actually na may value is from negative 4 to positive 4 lang. Okay? E 5 nga eh. So may dalawang 0 pa siya sa dulo. Basically, uh, it is covered. Okay? Nagets po kasi di ba? Uh, the summation here. Okay, the summation here. Yan. Covered po yung ano no? Covered yung kasi negative 5 to 5 lang yung hinahanap natin eh. So uh, zero na kasi yung value ng iba. So bali n equals negative 5 to positive 5. So C sub n is actually okay. So this one is summation lang no from ano lang yung a sub n natin di ba uh, as you can see kanina no so a sub n natin is from ano lang n equals negative 1 up to positive 1 okay multiplied by okay yung b sub n naman natin no so yung b sub n natin is from ano lang n equals negative 3 up to positive 3 lang the rest zero na okay kaya kahit negative 5 to 5 siya it's okay uh, kasi zero naman yung iba parang ganun Okay. So anyway, add natin to, no? Ano ba yung mga laman ng A sub n? So yung laman ng A sub n, guys, if we add this one, neg j, negative j, tsaka 5. So we have uh, j1 plus 5 plus negative j1 multiplied by, ano yung laman ng B sub n? We have j3, okay, plus negative j3, okay, plus negative j2 plus j2. Okay? So, as you, as you can see from the uh, B sub n coefficients. So, ito ay 5. mag in -add. So, this is 5. So, 5 yan. And this one? What is the sum of this one, guys? Sum of this is 0, right? So, 5 times 0. So, therefore, no? Yung summation na hinahanap pala natin, okay, from n equals negative 5, up to positive 5 ng C sub n is equal sa 0. Is equal sa 0. So in other words, guys, no? Ang kailangan lang po natin is what? Ang kailangan lang natin is yung... Kasi 0 na yun, eh. No? Doon na lang tayo sa isa na kayang-kayang evaluate. Yung na-mention ko kanina, eh, may bilog, guys, no? Yeah, no? So if this is 0, I mean, pala, dito na lang, no? Huwag ka nang i-ano, no? Ito na lang, guys. Subunin ko na ito, ha? So, this is equal sa ano, guys? So, this is equal po sa 0 plus 
Ano pa ang summation ng 2 from negative 5 to 5? So that is 2 times, ano, uh, mula 5 minus negative 5, okay, plus 1. Sa so, bakit may plus 1? Kasi kasama yung 0. Nagets? So bali, uh, 2 times uh, 11, so I'm getting 22. So 22 is the answer to this question. 22 is the answer to this question. Okay? Yes? Yes. All right. Okay. So a little bit long, no? Uh, pero madali lang naman, no? Yan. So yun lang, no? Kailangan, uh, yeah, no? So you just use the properties that, ano, no? Uh, I've shared to you, no? In this video. Okay? So for your homework, this is a little bit easier, guys. So we're just asked to solve for the uh, fundamental period. Okay, and the complex exponential Fourier series coefficient, no? So, no need of the convolution and everything. So, your answer to the homework, guys, please comment it on this uh, video, guys. And uh, see you guys, no, sa next video. Bye!